Hello everyone, welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. I am Brother Azana David. I just want to quickly share with us how we can use the Word of God to fight sexual addictions. A lot of us don't know how powerful the Word of God is. The Bible says in John chapter 1, one following, in the beginning was a Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. That nothing was created without the Word. The Word of God is creative, it is powerful, it is sharper than any two-edged sword. And also, um, First Peter chapter 1, verse 23 says, Being born again, I use King James Version, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the Word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. The Word of God is powerful, we were created with the Word of God, and the Word of God has creative ability creative ability so if something is wrong with you and you need a new life you need to if you want to renew your heart the word of god can renew your mind the word of god can change your thoughts the word of god can break the chains of addiction a lot of people complain oh i'm addicted to sex i'm addicted to masturbation addicted to pornography i'm addicted to lust read the bible the bible carries a lot of power if you read the word of god the word of god is a mirror the more you look at it the more you be like, become like christ the word of god is christ himself the more you read the word of god the more you are transformed the lord gave me four tips of on how you can overcome sex uh, uh, sexual uh, related uh, addictions like the things i just mentioned like loss like uh, uh, sex and masturbation pornography the word of god was one of them i'm going to release the other three probably do separate three videos and explain the more you read the word of god the spirit of the lord the the holy ghost is the author of the bible so as you read the word of god the word of god transforms your heart the word of god comes into you and the holy spirit impresses the word of god inside of you and you are born again the word of god has the power to give birth to us again we are born of three main things you're born of the water of the spirit and of the word of god jesus said except a man be born of born again he cannot enter the kingdom of god said to be born of the water and of the spirit and in first peter chapter uh, 1 verse 23 we are told also that we can be born of the word of god because the word of god has creative abilities the word of god can create and the word of god can recreate if you read the word of god the word of god goes into your heart and as you meditate on the word of god the word of god takes over your heart it forms the um, primary uh, it forms the basis of your thoughts because as a man thinketh in his heart so he is if you read the word of god and you meditate on the word of god the word of god has a way of affecting your heart the word of god has a way of reshaping your thoughts so if you have the word of god inside of you the word of god we now go and fight the power of addiction. Meanwhile, even if you are struggling with different kind of spirits and you want to be free, stick to the word of God. Read the word of God. Study the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. Even audio Bibles, listen to audio Bible. And the demons that are troubling you, I tell you, there are there are demons that follow every every form of addiction i mean evil addiction bad addiction bad habits there are demons attached to them and they keep you in bondage they keep reminding you i know the brain is a major organ of the body that is it was actually the brain that is addicted when somebody becomes addicted to sexual issues or to drugs it is the brain that has a the problem of the addiction but as you read the word of god the word of god enters your heart and the word of god changes you the bible says that guard your heart without diligence for out of it are the issues of life so by the time you meditate on the word of god you will definitely be successful and you will have good success according to joshua chapter 1 verse 8 that we should not let the book of the lord depart out of our mouth but we shall meditate we should meditate on it day and night and i encourage you for those of you who have who are struggling struggling to come out of different kind of addiction please study the word of god make a word of god a part of you and as you read the word of god as your heart is purified the holy spirit will find you good enough will find your body good enough 
clean enough, uh, washed enough, sanctified enough so that the Holy Spirit can come in. And when the Holy Spirit comes in and it lives inside of you, you find it very easy. You find it easier to overcome these temptations. Why you are still struggling is because you have not actually uh, some of us will think you can fight addition face to face. No, you don't fight addition. You bring in things that will change your lifestyle, things that will change your mindset, things that will take the time that you are spending doing what you are doing that you don't like. That is how you fight addiction and you need the power of the Holy Ghost. You need the Word of God. How it, the Word of God gives you power to overcome. You know, uh, they have started singing, I actually came for a program uh, manifest city uh, is just that it's so wide we have people there I just have to come here to do this video so please we don't have much time no time again uh, I'm gonna talk about the other three things uh, probably in separate uh, videos and explain how you can overcome the Word of God is powerful go for the word let the Word of God transform you the Word of God is Jesus Christ you find an addition don't do it without the Word of God because even Jesus Christ fought temptation with the word of God. In Matthew chapter 4, you see Jesus always telling Satan three good times, it is written, it is written, it is written. If you don't have the word, how will you be able to tell Satan it is written? Please go for the word. Visit my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com and iguayopuna.com. Uh, just subscribe, sign up so that whenever I post any article, you can be alerted and subscribe to my YouTube channels, Iguay Opener and BS Purity TV. Follow me on social media, biblicalsexualpurity.com. Biblicalsexualpurity, thank you. God bless you. Don't give up. You will definitely overcome and what you see as your weakness today will become your strength. God bless you. Share this video if it blesses your life. Bye-bye.